How to add a gallery using the NextGen plugin for WordPress. Here we are at our dashboard. First thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down under the gallery. We'll click this little arrow here to see our options. And we're going to click on Add Gallery or Images. That's going to open up this page. We're going to see New Gallery. We could click here and we could name our gallery and we just click add gallery but right now I've already got the gallery created so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go in here to upload images and then I'm going to select my images say and browse go to the place where my images are located on my computer I'm going to select the first one I'm going to hold shift down which is going to select all the rest of them and I'm going to click open. Now you'll see it's it's uploaded all those images right there. I drop down, I select a gallery. This is going to be the wood gallery and then I'm going to say upload images. And you'll notice this orange bar. Let the images upload all the way and then it's going to go through and create all the thumbnails. So you need to be really patient right here and just let it upload till it says it's complete. Okay, now you can see it says seven pictures successfully added and we have our gallery. So now I'm going to go into the page where I want our gallery to appear and I'm going to click on pages edit because I already have the page created. If I didn't I'd click on add new but I'm going to say edit and I'm going to go into the wood gallery page and click on edit. And here we are at the wood gallery page. I have my my title tag here, my H1 tag here, and I want this gallery to appear right underneath it, so I'm going to make sure my cursor is right here, and I'm going to use this button, and that's going to insert a gallery. So I'm going to click on that, it's going to bring up Next Gen Gallery. I'm going to select a gallery, which is going to be the wood. I'm going to leave this on image list, so it's going to show the thumbnails of the images, and I'm going to say insert. You'll notice it put this little code right here and then I'm just going to go over here and click on preview changes and when I preview it it brings this screen up and we can see what our gallery is going to look like so here I can go through the images that I just uploaded so we create the galleries separate in the plugin and then we just go and we insert the little code into the page which puts the gallery on the page. If I wanted to add another picture to this wood gallery, I would just go back in to the WordPress dashboard. And here before I leave this, I'm just going to say update page because I like the way it looked. and then you can see right here it says page updated and we could view the page but say I wanted to add another picture to that gallery I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna just click on manage gallery and then I just click on whatever gallery I want to add images to And if I wanted to add them to this one I would just click on Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. We're going to click on Add Gallery or Images. And here's where you manage the different galleries there. But Add New Gallery is where we want to go to at this link, Add Gallery or Images. So we already have our gallery again, so we would just go to Upload Images. We'd choose the file. We'd select the wood gallery, and we'd upload it. That way the image would be added to that gallery. So that's how we would add one. If we wanted to delete one, then we'd go into the manage gallery and then we would click on the gallery that we wanted to change and then we can see the the images in our gallery this one's the wood gallery and we can see the images here all we do is hover over the image and we could say delete but right in here in the manage galleries tab we can also name the images so I'm just gonna name this one wood image number one so this is where we would put the title of our image and then we can put a description of our image here 
So we got wood image number one, and this is where the text goes for wood image number one if you wanted to put a description. And then just for the purpose of this demonstration, I've got the first one named wood image number one, and then I say this is where the text goes for wood image number one, wood image number two, but you'd, what we're doing is we're titling and describing each picture here. And then we're just going to scroll down after we have that done, and we're going to say save changes. Now one other really neat feature of Next Gen Gallery is we can come down here into each image and we can hover over the image and we can say edit thumb. What this is going to do is it's going to edit the thumbnail image of that picture. So this is what it looks like. So I can just click here on the picture and drag it and I can edit how the thumbnail looks in my picture. So if I want it to look cut out certain things in the picture or have it display a certain way, I'm going to just draw the square right here on the picture and say update. After you click update you gotta wait for this thumbnail updated to appear and then you can go ahead and just X out of it. Then we could go on to the next one and we'd say edit thumb and we just left click on the image drag it. If we wanted the thumbnail to be a little shorter than it was before we'd just say update. And then it said thumbnail updated right here. We're going to go ahead and close it. And then we can come in here to our page. And let's just load our page and you'll see the changes being made. So again, we're changing the gallery in the gallery plugin page. We're not changing it on the page itself. So here's our plug or here's our text or our first picture. And it says this is where the text goes for wood image number one. I can make that say whatever I wanted. We go to number two, you'll see that the text is here again and the pictures appear like we cropped it here in the thumbnail. So just as another example um, on this eagle one, if I wanted it cropped to a different size, I would come back into the gallery, go to the eagle image, say edit thumb, and I'm just going to left click and change the way that thumbnail looks. and say update. Again watch for the thumbnail updated and then go ahead and close the window. Good practice to always scroll down and say save changes. And then we can come back into our page and reload it. And you'll see that the thumbnails changed what we wanted it to be. So that's how you go in and edit the thumbnails, create a gallery, and add images to the gallery using the NextGen Gallery plugin.